Hello everybody, British Bob here, how do you do? Today we're going to be looking at these bevy of beauties. To include this little chap, the PJ Robot, who spins and moves and comes with light and sound, has three light up faces, all activated by the push of a single button. We'll then be looking at the deluxe figure set, which comes with a total of 14 pieces, including four of the newest characters from the series. And if that's not enough, We'll also be looking at the speed boosters, with a total of three to collect, with each of the three PJ Masks sporting their own individual outfits. And of course, in true British Bob style, all of this will be neatly packaged up into one fun little adventure, featuring five of the nighttime villains, and of course, our three favourite heroes. So join me as we put these toys through their paces, starting with the biggest of them all, the PJ Robot. And instantly I can see where we're going to start with this unboxing. The rather tempting yellow Try Me tab. But first things first, let's take him out of the box. Now I like to think we're green on this channel, so a few more trees before we start please. Now all we need to do is give this a quick pull. Here's the gym wasted. <laughs> Got it. Next up, screwdriver. Now, boys and girls, this should only be conducted by trained professionals such as myself or a parental guide. So, dissecting the power unit here, we have the core. And delving a little deeper inside, four AA batteries. Right, with that safely sealed up, this comes with three modes. And if you have a look at the button here, you have Try Me, Off, and On. And they've also thrown in a couple of supermarket trolley wheels to help it spin too. So let's start with the first mode. Try me. This is where he doesn't move but makes lots of noise and facial expressions. See him smiling with his eyes open. And super happy with his eyes closed. Next up, off mode. This is where your household pets can stop carrying behind the sofa and come out again to play. It also gives us a chance to take a closer look at the little guy. So on his chest here we have the red wings for Owlet, the blue paw print for Catboy, and the green chevrons for Gecko. He also has poseable arms which bend and stay in position, one on each side. And at the back here he also has some bendy wings. Lastly we have on mode, which is the mode we've all been waiting for. Now be warned boys and girls, he needs a lot of space. Which as you can see, I wasn't expecting. After being forced to clear the studio and him eventually running out of steam, the PJ robot now had space to show off his moves. Fun. And I'm now going to dish out one of my first awards ever on this channel. Wreck my studio. This little guy totally trashed it. Ah, Romeo, perfectly timed. Just hold still a second. So here you can see the PJ Robot is a lot bigger than the usual characters. And I'm not going to ask how Romeo's made it, but he obviously used some very complex equations. That's right, he made the PJ Robot. Right boys and girls, I'm pretty thirsty after all that unboxing. You keep an eye on Romeo and let me know if anything happens while I'm making a cup of tea. I'm okay! You're looking at the cup breaking! Not long now, I'm just putting the tea bag in the hot water. No, I think just a drop of milk. But no sugar. I'm sweet enough. Ah, much better. Uh, he's making off with a PJ robot! I don't know where he thinks he's off to. My studio is only the size of Harry Potter's cupboard under the stairs. But this does conveniently bring us on to the deluxe figure set. So here it is in all its glory. Let's dive in and take a closer look. So straight off the bat, we have a rather interesting looking sticky splat launcher. 
We're moving on to the new characters. PJ Robot would be in here, but Romeo's already got him in the back of his lab. Next up, we have the only female character from the Wolfie Kids, Rip, who has fantastic pink hair. Below is Howler, the leader of the group, who bears a striking resemblance to Wolverine, if you know who that is. And the last of the Wolfie Kids, we've got Kevin, with his nice little waistcoat and purple hair. Now for my own safety, none of them are going to be taken out of the box. Being released from the box, however, we've got the three accessories from the pack. Owlet's telescope. Catboy scooter. And their tablet. Last but not least, we have slightly different detailing for the PJ masks. So as you can see, they now come with a little bit of yellow. Warning. Warning. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Why can't any of my toy reviews ever be straightforward? So here we are yet again with Romeo outside the headquarters and being picked up by Alex's security camera. I currently have two questions. Number one, how did Night Ninja get out of the toy cupboard? And two, what is he up to? Whatever the reason, we need to come Warning. up with a plan. Warning. And we're two. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Wait a minute, this can't be right. We've already got two night villains detected. Oh no, you better make that three howlers now at the box. And it looks so he's not the only one either. Kevin's broken free. The sticky splat launch is missing. And Rip's also nowhere to be seen. How did they get out? Ah, oh, I should have known. Especially given he was just parked next to the box. And I have a major problem with all these night villains running amok in my studio. Let's bring up the villain detection system. So here we have it. It's a British Bob toy reviews first five villains on the go at the same time. The PJ Masks have really got their work cut out for them in this video, but thankfully there's not six. Luna Girl is still securely in the box and that's exactly where she's staying. Hey. Cry me a river. Oh, quick look, Romeo's on the move. Where's he hiding? Is he playing game of peekaboo? Oh, there he is. This all looks rather tame for Romeo, doesn't it? I mean, no extravagant weapon in sight, and what appears to be a game of the old knock and run. Ah, I spy a little robot. The question is, is he friend or foe? Well, the PJ Masks are on their way down the lift, so I guess we'll find out in a minute. And it looks like it's Catboy who's going to answer the door. Be careful, Catboy. This looks like one of Romeo's tricks. It's the moment of truth. Friend. And so, being far too trusting, the PJ Masks took in the robot and made him one of their own. Starting with a tour of the computer system. Anyway, enough of my talking. Let's just sit back and enjoy this music montage. Breathe and you know you're alive. Feel the beat of your heart. Well, life is a crazy way of turning everything upside. So move with the time that you have The world will keep spinning right Wasn't that nice? Now, to give you a little bit of background information, PJ Robot just happened to be very skilled with a wrench. And by a stroke of good fortune, this also happened to be included within the deluxe figure set. Armed with this, he couldn't help but notice that their current vehicles could do with a bit of a makeover. So within a matter of minutes, their vehicles went from looking like this to this. Boys and girls, welcome to Boost My Ride. Let's go. Starting first with the cat car. The key feature of all the speed boosters is the booster unit. This glowing ball of energy gives the PJ Masks an unprecedented amount of power. Oh! <coughs> they can't have power without styling. So check out those go faster cat stripes and a rather loud looking silver interior. Complemented beautifully with the fine detailing of these five spoke alloy wheels. Next up, the Gecko Mobile. 
you can never have too much downforce. And this also comes with a bottle booster. To cope with all this power, it's got the biggest spoiler you've ever seen. And with a fin that big, you need a sound system to boot. Last, but by no means least, the Owl Glider. With twin boosters. Fire yellow wheels. Silver interior. And the fastest of them all. Just check out the thrust on these. Oh wait a minute, it sounds like there's a problem at HQ. Yes, there is. And in a few moments we've been looking at the booster cars and attack is already underway. And it looks though like this is coming from Night Ninja. But wait! It doesn't look as though he's the only one. Romeo's also coming into the battle. And an alert's now coming through on the tablet. With all three of the Wolfie kids coming too? That's five night villains at the same time? I don't think the PJ Masters have ever been up against such a challenge. Okay, so here we go. On the Night Ninja bus, we have Night Ninja with his passengers, Howler, Kevin, and Rim, also known as the Wolfie Kids. This is it. Brace yourselves, everyone. Right now, anything could happen. And here we have Night Ninja being the first to disembark, followed a close second by the Wolfie Kids. But little do they know they've been watched the whole time by Catboy, who's just about to descend on them with his Super Cat Jump. Well there you go, cats really do land on their feet. And he's now backing up for Night Ninja's next move. And here it is already. A sticky splat ball. Do your worst, Night Ninja. Haha, <laughs> you missed. Oh, dear. Huh. That was a bit of an anti-climax. But no time to worry about it now, the Wolfie kids are lining up against the booster cars. And I don't think they're here to admire the paintwork. No they're not, they're getting into the seats and starting the engines. This doesn't look like a social visit. Just what have they got planned? If I was you I'd move out of the way, Night Ninja. And with all this going on we now have Romeo thrown into the mix. And he appears to be armed with his teleporter. And he's arrived just in time to see the Wolfie Kids! Wow, those things are loud! And without a second's rest, Romeo's already launched into his attack. So why is he making the PJ Robot bigger again? Whatever the reason, Catboy seems concerned. With the added worry of Night Ninja now planning his next attack. The secret of a crisis situation? Always remain calm. So here we have Night Ninja launching his splat attack. Followed by the Wolfie Kids, who appear to have stolen the cars for some sort of race. And here we have the PJ Robot, who looks like he's malfunctioning. No, I was wrong! It looks as though Romeo's trying to take control of him with that device. And by the looks of it, he's just succeeded! This looks very, very bad. I wish I could see a way out for the PJ Masks, but I have a feeling things are going to get worse. And by the looks of it, they are. We now have a gigantic Romeo on our hands, with the PJ Robot taking out everything in sight. I think Romeo is going to live to regret dropping that. If only we could get a PJ Mask to it. But we'll have to think about how to do that later as a ginormous Romeo is just about to break into the headquarters. That poor central console. It always seems to get it. And here we have Owlette making a very sensible decision to seek safety on her top floor. But where's our green little friend Gecko? I can't see him anywhere. Phew! Here he is and he's okay. But it looks so like he's just stepped straight out of the frying pan and into the fire. As Romeo's control, PJ Robot locks him straight into his sights. Come on Gecko, you need some quick thinking to get out of this one. Oh, genius! Takes out the control to break Romeo's hold on PJ Robot. Yes, and it sounds like he's definitely back and wanting to help his newfound friend with PJ Masks. Just look at the strength of this robot. He's single-handedly picking up the night bus and lab, one in each arm. And it looks like he's going to take them both out for a spin. My word, he threw those for miles. And he's still not finished. He's making sure Night Ninja gets as far away from the headquarters as possible. 
He really is a worthy member to their team. And in the middle of all that, Rick also won that race! Oh yeah, and with all that going on, I forgot we still had a gigantic Romeo loose inside the headquarters. And starting to break things. Okay, hold everything. Well, okay, not everything. But let's take time out to reflect on the situation. And it'll also give me a chance to try and drink this cup of tea I've made. Ah, much better. Right, 16 seconds on the clock, please. Starting now. Down the bottom here, we have Catboy completely stuck to the front of the HQ. Up here, we have Owlette pondering what to do next. In the middle, we have Romeo looking for something else to break. And down here, we have our little green friend ready to spring into action. And that's our time up. Okay, and back with Gecko now, we have him armed with the teleporter, which is just put away and about to scale the walls using his super Gecko grip. The question is, can he get to Romeo first before Romeo gets to him? And the answer is yes. Ah, I always like it when a plan comes together. It's a shame the same can't be said for poor old Romeo, as it appears the PJ robot is also helping with the cleanup operation. Right, well that's two night villains down, but we unfortunately still have the three wolfy kids at large. And with them currently in possession of the booster cars, it's going to make life very difficult for the PJ Masks. Ah uh, wait, it appears though Gecko has an idea. And as he's got hold of Romeo's device, he might as well make the most of using it. Now why didn't I think of that? A giant flying owlet is perfect to trap them down. Now Owlette finding the Wolfy Kids was a lot simpler than you may think. After all, they were just hiding down the road. And when you're flying from above, a bright red, blue and green car is very easy to spot. And so is a gigantic Owlette for that matter. Not to mention incredibly terrifying. Well that's one problem solved. But the question is now, how are we going to get these cars back to HQ? There's one thing to be said about Owlette. She definitely uses her head. Or in this case, a giant pair of booster roller skates. I don't know about you, but I want a pair of those for Christmas. <laughs> oh, it gets me every time. Well, boys and girls, I hope you've enjoyed unboxing these toys and going on an adventure with me today. Please remember to comment and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you again in my next video. Toodle pip! <laughs>